just being human. Like just understanding that we all have all kinds of feelings. You get inside that and you just are able to relate to everything. That's how I feel like. When I say I'm about to catch a vibe, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to understand I have, I feel love, I feel hate, I feel anger. I'm not going to pretend like I don't feel that. So when I'm inside the vibe, I'm going to be as open as possible with myself. I like all music really, but in my mind, I like the body of music into two huge sections. It's music that I can hear, it's music that I can listen to. And when I say there's music that you hear, it's like, you know, you hear the beat, you know the chords, but you really don't know the words. But the music that you listen to, I feel like that's the music that grabs your heart, grabs your soul. So I aim for something that people are listening to. It's like when you hear it, you either can feel the experience or you can really relate to the experience. And that's what I'm aiming for when I when I drop catch a vibe, I want you to be inside my vibe, like experience everything that I feel, everything that I think about, I want you to be there with me. The difference between catch a vibe one and two, on catch a vibe one, I really just didn't want to waste the talent that I feel God gave. I didn't want to waste the gift, so I just wanted to do something to satisfy myself, saying that I'm not wasting it. And after catch a vibe one, you know, I, I become more comfortable with expressing my poetry. So on Catch a Vibe 2, it feels more structured. I feel I have a direction that I want to go in. I'm more confident in the way that I'm saying the things that I'm saying. It just feels it just feels more organic to me. It doesn't feel like I, I forced it out. I'm comfortable with what I am as a poet, and I have more confidence in myself. Catch a Vibe 1, yeah, I feel like I have grown. I feel like I matured, matured more. Like Catch a Vibe 1 was kind of expressing my feelings. And now that I'm on Catch a Vibe 2, I'm learning how to heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, Catch a Vibe 2 feels like I'm healing myself. Like, I'm, I'm coming to terms with letting some of the things that I deal with go. And, well, I guess what helped me, like, get to that point was first being able to get on the stage and actually do an open mic. Because I really don't do open mics. I keep it to myself. And that gave me a little bit more confidence to, like, you know, go ahead and take the, keep, keep going forward with what you're doing. So now I'm on Catch a Vibe 2, and I feel like, Catch about two, gonna be the one.